Hello, Daniel Alfonso here, and today uh, we are at Nick Metropolis, which is Nick uh, Metropolis here. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm honored you're giving me a haircut. How long has this place been here? 19 years. 19 oh my gosh. 19. So what made you get all this oh stuff god. around here? Oh god. You know, we do a lot of movie industry stuff. Right. And they used to sell on street corners. And then right. this became available and we leased it and that was yeah. 19 years ago. This morning my wife showed me your other YouTube where you went yeah. to Venice Beach. I'm very impressed. Because I, 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 I don't let anybody cut my hair. But after watching the <laughs> uh, your other uh, YouTube video, right. you're the man. Well, thank you so much. I mean, well, you know, we have a lot of fun here. It's all about, I mean, you know, my card reads, love is all there is. And we right. just want it to be a good time. Yeah. I hope you had a good time. Did you have a good time cutting the Ab other people's Ab hair? Absolutely. And I, I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. From you know, the welcome. bottom of my heart. Well, you know, we connected with energy right from the beginning. It's all about that. Right. I want to try some of that stuff I saw in your uh, other YouTube. Yeah, I, I'm going to give you one of the uh, products. It's the Hans Fico Scheme oh. Cream. You have it with you today? I have it with oh, me today. Cool. and. Yeah, I, love I, I like the uh, monkey that we have back here. <laughs> oh, you know where he's from? He where is, was he from? He is the original monkey from uh, Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll tell you a quick story about him. <laughs> it's very expensive to be on this corner, right? And this young man brought the monkey on consignment. Uh, okay. A young actor. And I finally had a day off, and Baz, the manager of the store, sent me a picture of a little girl posing with the monkey. And I thought, you know what, we're not going to sell this monkey, we're going to keep it because it's going to delight children, right? Yeah. I called to thank him for the picture, he said, well, that's the upside. The guy decided not to sell the monkey, he just took it back. My heart sank. So I called the kid later to see if he would possibly sell us the monkey. Right. And he said, no, Nick, I really decided I, I can't live without it. I'm going to San Francisco tonight. Did I'm he move back to San Francisco? Or? Yeah, he did. He's a, like this young actor. He was going to get $1,250 for the monkey oh, if wow. he sold it for $2,500. And when was this? About six months ago. Oh, now so I'm on the way to the bank. I have rent money in one pocket. I have my DWP money in the other pocket, right? Well, I called Noah one more time, and I said, Noah, would you be willing to sell the monkey for $2,000 instead of the twelve fifty? dollars He goes, let me call you back in five minutes. Now, I'm either going to pay my light bill or I'm going to buy a monkey, right? <laughs> he called me back and said, I'll sell you the monkey. I came back on a Friday night, the very next morning. Now, you're young folks. I don't know this world at all. We opened the gates in the morning, and this very uh, handsome black man with a beautiful girlfriend came in and said, how much is the monkey? Baz, the manager of the store, said the monkeys, we decided not to sell the monkey. He said, come on, everything's got a price tag. How much is the monkey? Right. Baz said $8,000. Oh, wow. This guy whips out one of those real heavy Amex cards. He was someone named, is it Kid Cuddy? Kid, Kid Cuddy, right. right. That's yeah, who yeah. it was. Yeah. And we ended up not selling the monkey. As much as I needed $8,000, right. I thought, you know, he's going to delight children. And we're about to have a TV show, and we want the monkey to be waving goodbye at the end of every episode. Oh, wow. That's so, like the, the landmark. Yeah. You know, sometimes trademark. it's not about money. I mean, as much as, you know, you need it, but it was such a long road to get that monkey. We get um, uh, Rick Ross. We get Chris Brown. Um, yeah. Because next door are the Stussy and Undefeated stores, so we get all of the, the hip-hop guys are, are in a lot. In fact, Chris Brown was really good. His chauffeur broke a glass top table of ours, and uh, we said, geez, we're real sorry, but they, they whipped out, you know, 300 bucks, and they paid us on the spot. So I thought, oh, because he broke a table? Yeah, the, his, his chauffeur opened the door on a, on a coffee table. In the glass. Was, he, uh, was he dancing on it? <laughs> dancing on the moon. <laughs> but, you know, they're all nice. The, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, we've met a lot of nice people. Yeah, I just love the energy and the vibe in here. It's so, I just like, you know, to be outside. And it just, it's just, yeah. you know, it has that outside, indoor yeah. feel. Yeah. Well, you know, if and this was a, a store with closed doors, I couldn't do it. This yeah. is like a, yeah, it's it, like a playground. Yeah, because it's, yeah. How's that chair? Is that Joe? Hi, Joe. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> I am so, honored. This is a very talented young man, Joe. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Honor. How are you? Doing great. We've known Joe for 20 years. Yeah. Okay. So, are you originally from LA? No, uh, no. Or? I came out in my hippie. I came out in the mid '60s. Okay, from? From upstate New York. 
Oh, for that's music. Right. Those are the days the Doors were playing the whiskey. Oh my God, Bob Dylan would be in the yes. audience watching the birds. It was, it was such an amazing time musically. Yeah. So I came well, out. yeah, I'm originally from San Francisco, and oh yeah, yeah, just had to make the move. You yeah, know? yeah, good move. Good yeah, move. absolutely. Well, it's just more more connections out here as far as you know the business that I wanted to do in my life. Yes. I just couldn't do it in, in the Bay Area, so yes. yeah. you know, out here is just it's it's more you know um, it's better for um, networking purposes. Yeah. Well, it's like we talked about earlier. It's all about energy. When you start networking with people that you connect with, uh -huh. uh, that's how it is in LA. I, I think it's very. Um, that's what it is. Once you begin to work and you uh -huh. network with the right people and you walk away from when you know it's not right, right. that's the key to uh, living in Los Angeles. Uh, well, and that's how it is with customers here. You know, we get very um, instantly, not, not personal, but, you know, we say, what do you do? What is your work? And before you know it, we're able to give customers referrals to all kinds of things. Yeah. If they're new in LA, I want to send them to my mechanic who would treat them very honestly. And you know, a lot of people when they move, the least thing they expect is who's going to cut your hair. Right. <laughs> right. They're like, oh shucks, by right. the way, who is going to cut my hair? Right. I'm very blessed to have so much hair. You know, I'm 94 years old. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of, uh, so some, some of my clients, are like, they have a lot of gray, and they're like, you know what, I hate my gray hair. And I'm like, gray hair is a blessing. Ask well, any bald guy. See, after, <laughs> after our show, well, yes, yes. You know, after our show takes off, there'll, there'll be a time that I'll probably, in my life, be all, I'm all gray right now, but it makes uh -huh. my hair red. And I'm enjoying the red. Yeah. But there'll be a time where I'll go majorly natural. So I'm going to have white hair and black eyebrows. <laughs> that'll, be my, that'll be my look, but it's natural. But you know what? At least you know you're having fun with it. I am. You know? You know, you know, I mean, know how, the, how the red happened? How? I used to always make my hair the dark brown that it was when I was younger, right? Uh -huh. And one day I chose something wrong and my hair came out red. And I freaked out. I had red hair permanently. I didn't. I was embarrassed to come to work. Yeah. I went to Ralph's Market that was just, uh -huh. just to chill out before coming to work. Right. Four people came up to me. Three were women. One were guys saying, "What color is on your hair?" I said, "Oh my God, I'm getting." So I called my wife uh -huh. and she, I, I told her, I said, I cannot believe this. Four people have just complimented this red hair. She says, why don't you have fun with it? Just keep it. And so that's yeah. four years ago. It's like a cream. Okay. You know? And organic. Yeah, and organic. And it yeah. smells really good. Kind of like a vanilla bean. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm impressed. Thank you very much. And, um, no, because it, it, it's it's really light hold, yeah, and it's still movable, and okay. it's like it's mild, you know. Okay. How is it with water? Does it wash out with water? It, yeah, 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 totally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you allowed? Thank you very much, Nick. I appreciate that. It was that. really my pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you. And there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.